Hi, this is Brad. I'm going to do a quick comparison with the Grace Digital Mondo versus the Mondo Plus. The Mondo Plus is a last generation model that is fairly current, very similar to the newest model, which is the Mondo Elite. Uh, on the left in the red is the original Mondo. Now, the Mondo is fantastic, but the problem is it's driven by the Receiva, I think is what it's called, software. And there's, uh, that was owned by Qualcomm. They're supposed to shut that down literally any day now. Now, this stuff, this software is really good. First of all, you can see it looks better to begin with versus this dull blue. But in terms of finding stations, um, location, for example, you can look at pretty much any country. I hope you can see this. And there are many, many stations on almost every country. I mean, like Germany as an example. So, so you search by country. And Germany, let me just find that as an example, and I'm trying to talk and operate this at the same time. I think I went a little too far. Let's just take a look at Germany. There it is. Okay, Germany has how many stations? 2,437. And you can search by any genre. Like you can go back and go, okay, by genre. Let's look for um, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, alternative, Bollywood, you know. Uh, let's just see how this one searches. Uh, let's go internet radio, search for stations by location. Now, see, you can't pick it by the country. You can only pick the continent, basically. So let's go to Europe. Let's try to find Germany. Let's see how many stations are on here. I don't know if this is a good example, but you'll see where I'm going maybe in a second. Well, it doesn't tell me. But I'll tell you something, I'm almost sure it's not 2,600. What I found in my experience is this old Receiva, um, not only is it better to look at and better operating, but it's got a lot, lot, lot more stations. I mean, there's a lot missing from Grace's. So, you know, it's kind of frustrating because the newer unit is not as good. I mean, it's just flat out not. Um, it's a bummer that Receiva is going to discontinue this because it's it's quick and it's intuitive and and it works great like if i go to greece i don't know how many stations there are 277 now again this one i don't think is going to tell me but again i can't really search by greece i have to go um internet radio uh search for stations by location uh go back up to europe let's see if i can find greece without overshooting it again it's not going to tell me how many. They're probably for a reason, because there are typically, in my experience, considerably fewer. And what I've also found is with the new Mondo units, which I'd call the Plus, which this is, and presumably the Elite, I think it uses the same menu. Even Grace told me they're very, very similar. Um, they don't always operate at the pop proper bit rate, so sometimes their links are off. I had one station that they did have on there, but it was playing... Uh, 44, um, I think it's kilobits per second, whereas this was playing the same station at 128, and the 128 sounded much better. You know, it's a higher bit rate, right? And they did actually fix that for me, which is kind of cool, but I'm just finding a lot of stations missing from the newer one. So um, sound quality, about the same, features about the same, but again, there's a lot fewer stations on the newer model, and uh, I really think there's a lot of room for improvement, in, in not only in terms of how they search, you know, but but you know, and the number of stations, but the way the menu looks, it's um, it needs some work, it needs some help, you know. Again, it, it's such a bummer that this Receiva was discontinued because it is um, very snappy, very intuitive, it just works great. Not only can you find the stations, so easy to find, you know, again by genre. You know, you want to find, um, let me go back for a second, hopefully varied. Well, what did I do wrong? I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, I'm on the wrong country. Okay. Well, anyway, let's go back to Germany for a second. Germany, there we go. So, genre. So you can't do this really with the other one electronically. You want to look at some electronica? Let's do that. 116 stations, right? You pick whatever you want. In fact, I'll turn this up for a second. Hopefully. You see it's buffering. Oh, yeah. No, I don't know quite Powerball. what's going on here. This oh, it's got a commercial. From the California well, whatever. Lottery. Tonight's Powerball but in any event, um, they're both pretty good. 
Um, but really, the newer Grace Digitals, in my opinion, leave a lot to be desired. The basic software, the hardware, I should say, is as good or better as the original older model, but the menu-driven software isn't nearly as good. The stations that are in, uh, that are linked, are, are missing a lot of stuff. Much, much, much harder to search. Um, I really think Grace needs to do some work on this. And, you know, I don't know what's going on with this um, receiver. I mean, it was supposed to be down like at least a month ago. I Maybe they'll give it a reprieve. I don't know. I don't think so. But uh, again, it, if this sticks around, I don't think it will. Uh, boy, it's really good. It's a shame that they're getting rid of it. This one, not quite ready for prime time. You know, they need to do more, in my opinion. So I'm going to wrap it up. This is the Grace Digital Mondo and the Grace Digital Mondo Plus. And again, the newest model is the Mondo Elite. I think it's extremely similar to the Mondo Plus. So even though I'm not reviewing exactly the latest model, I think uh, if what Grace has told me is true, it's extremely similar to the new one. And um, it does have some extra features. You know, it does have some extra, like when I go into audio services, okay? Um, I've got iHeart, Pandora, Sirius XM, Amazon, which I don't think the other one has Amazon. Odyssey, Shoutcast doesn't have that. BBC doesn't work. Calm, I don't think it has that. Live 365, the other one doesn't have that. Podcast, Sleep Sounds. So it does have some things. Uh, some of it's a little hard to set up, like Amazon. you got to go into their server, and it's just kind of a pain to set it up, but you can. So this has a few more features that this doesn't, but this is a better radio. This is. Uh, you know, This also can set up with a, with a higher-speed Wi-Fi, which is nice. This one you're limited to, you know, I forget how many, uh, you know, what the rates are, but only the lower speed, you know, not the five uh, gigahertz or whatever. It's the, is it 2.8, whatever it is. So that kind of sucks. Um, but what I'd love to see happen is Grace take the newer radios and make them so they're at least as good as this. Because right now it's not. It's not. Um, again, I hope they don't take Receive It Down. I think they're going to. Um it's a really nice uh, software that drives these radios, and it's just kind of almost tragic that they decided to kill it. It's kind of unfair in a lot of ways to the people that bought these radios. You know, um, Grace is offering 35% off a new radio, but, you know, people who bought a radio, really, their radios may become obsolete once that happens. I don't think that's fair. I'll wrap up the video. So this, again, is uh, going back to the Grace Mondo versus the... Uh, Mondo uh, Plus, and then again, the newer one is similar, the Mondo Elite. Um, not bad, but needs a lot of work. You know, Grace, I would say, get in there, fix your radio. You know, put a, put a nicer looking menu in there. Um, go copy the stations, path them out, you know, figure out what's on this and put them in this under your menu. And, and yeah, I don't think everything should be this dull blue. You know, you got a nice color screen, make it a little zippy. You know, at least this one you can see. When I go back, I'm going to try to go back, um, you know, you got some some colors in there. You know, it's not all just washed out blue. Here, everything's washed out blue, but the problems go beyond that. So, um, hey, Grace, if you're listening, fix your radio. You know, it's a good start. This was a great radio. Um, this isn't yet. It could be, right? It's not yet. So I'll wrap that up. I uh, hope you enjoyed my comments. Uh, and you can feel free to leave any remarks in the comments section here on YouTube. I do thank you for your time and I uh, hope you enjoy your Grace Radio. Uh, but, you know, again, the newer one, in my opinion, is not quite ready for prime time. Bye-bye.